So we want to find out whether a number is prime or not. So I made a definition here called is prime and it takes in an integer num. Right before that I have a prime list which has a list of the first few primes and the, a variable next prime which has the next prime that isn't in the list. So going back into the definition, if the number is less than 2, you're going to return false. This is because negatives are not primes and 0 or 1 are not primes. So you've already found out it's not a prime. Good job. But if that's not the case, then we move on. And if, it, if the number happens to be in the prime list, it's obviously a prime, so you can return true. Next, we move into a for loop whether, if those aren't true, and we go for every value prime num in the prime list. We're going to check whether that prime num is a multiple of our number that we want to find out whether it's prime or not. So if it is a multiple, we're going to return false. It's not a prime. And if this happens to be greater than num, which shouldn't happen, but this is a safeguard, we're going to break out of the loop. Now we're going to move into the other for loop where we're going to start with i equals the next prime and it's going to go up to the square root of the number that we want to find out if it's prime or not. And we're going to skip every even number because we only care about primes here. So if i happens to be an even number, it's really no use to us. We only have to go up to the square root of a number because say you have a number like 21, the only factors it has are 3 and 7 or 7 and 3. One of those numbers is always going to be less than the square root of the number and one of them is always going to be greater than. And we don't really care about the duplicate. This is true for all numbers, but I'm not going to go into the detail of that right now. But take my word for it, you only have to check up to the square root of your number. So I put this pseudocode into some Python code and executed a few numbers and I started with some prime numbers that are already known like 5, 7, 37, and 41. All of those are prime and it found it out pretty quickly. Then I tried some numbers that are composites which aren't prime numbers and 4, 9, 77, and 800,005. All were not prime numbers. I can tell that 800,005 is not a prime number because it ends in 5. And then I looked on a website and found these few numbers that were primes and I just wanted to make sure that the code worked and look at it, they're all prime. Took a little longer because I had to go through that second for loop, but in the end, they were found.